Time to feed the birds in the garden again. We're going to make an apple bird feeder today. Uh, what we'll need are some apples, some twigs, a bit of string and something to make a hole through the apple to pull the string through. And we got, what we got? We got knitting, knitting needles needle. and crochet hooks to pull the string through mm -hmm. as well. The sticks we're using, this is to make a perch for the birds to stand on while they're eating the apple. These are from my apple tree. You've got and this is a little bit from the ash tree. Yeah, and, and if you ash. don't have a tree available, we've got a bamboo stick here that was cut into Those little you know, lengths, a, a yeah. small length. Or uh, a dowel rod would, make, yeah. would do the same thing. But we'll use the twigs. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, is make holes in our apples. Now it can be a little bit tricky to make these holes, so we actually we made the holes already because it took so much force. You want to be a little bit careful here that you don't damage the surface of your table. So we put chopping boards underneath, or if you could do it outside, it is good if you can stand up and to push this through, and that way it probably will come out in the centre. If you're sitting down, sometimes it's difficult to get something straight down. So you push that right through, it comes out the far end. Like so that. The apples can be quite hard at times yeah. to get it through. And there, there's your hole. So we're ready now with the apples. They've all got holes in them to pull the string through later on. Next thing you're doing is take your twig, and if you put your finger underneath it, like that, to find the balance where the you have as much weight on yep. both sides. So mine is about there. Yeah. And then you get your piece of string and tie it around just there. And you wrap it around a couple of times. Yeah. Bring it around a couple of times, yeah. And then make a, a double knot, a treble knot. Just there. And one more. Now we're going to attach the apple. That's Fairly, fairly good. <laughs> you might so need to push That's mine up. Now, once Slightly. the apple comes down on top of it, it actually, um, it makes it, it, it holds it. it. Yeah, it balances it. it. Yeah. Now, you get your crochet hook this time. You go down through the apple, out the far end, catch the string with the crochet hook, and pull it up through the apple, like so. Yeah, perfect. All right, so that's your first, the first bit. As you can see now, the birds will quite happily to sit on the side yeah. there. Now, Mine is quite central now. I'm very yeah, pleased with that. Very good. Now you get your second piece of stick, and as close as you can get to, to the apple, just wind that round a couple of times. Up and down. It's easier said than done this, but you, you do your best. And then we get the second apple. And the crochet hook. Push it through. Attach the string. And right through again. And that's it. There's your apple bird feeder. And now you need to make a loop for the top. Just tie oh, off. Hanging yeah. on the tree. Yeah. I have my hanging on the same apple tree that the branches came from. That's where it's really put it. Yeah, just loop it, loop it over like that. And, and just, and just knot and not, it. one knot will do that. No harm in having more string than you need. That's it. If you want to tidy up the, the bottom, I'm going to just cut off my string at the bottom. That's lovely, and the birds are they? perched yeah. there. The birds no they'll perch there and they'll enjoy the apples. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Nice to feed the wildlife. Bye.